hello friends welcome back to the channel once again i hope everyone is safe in today's video i would be talking about how we can calculate the number of agents required on a daily basis weekly basis and monthly basis this video is kind of very important and this question generally asked during the interview so you need to be aware about it how you can calculate the number of agents so please i would request you please subscribe share our youtube channel so that that video can reach to maximum people and we can also get some motivation by uploading videos your one like your one share will definitely help us to make more videos in the future so now let's start with the video so you can see that i have put it down some information on the screen all volume on a daily basis 2800 weekly basis 14000 monthly basis 56000 and the AHT would be 300 seconds so first of all we have to find out the total time required in seconds how we can find out so we have to multiply call volume by AHT so that would be the total time required we have in seconds so we can simply drag it down to weekly and monthly basis so this would be the total time after that I'm considering nine hour shift working days one if we calculate it for daily wise if we have to calculate it for weekly wise so i have taken five days process working and the monthly would be 20. this is just an assumption so it could be 21 or 20 days depending on the kind of days we have the depending of the kind of working hours we have in the account so for the timing i have taken five days working process now we need to find out the time available in seconds on the basis of shift timing and working days how we can calculate it so simply that would be nine hours of shift we have multiplied by one working day and we have to convert that into seconds because the shift time nine hours so we have to convert that into seconds what we can do first we have to convert that into minutes then we have to convert that into seconds so that would be the time available in seconds in the shift so we have to simply drag it down to weekly and monthly basis after that we have the break time one hour then team meeting coaching or any other boxes 30 minutes so what would be the time available in seconds in boxes so how we can calculate that so it's a simple calculation that that would be your sum of boxes your boxes would be your break time plus any other team meeting coaching bracket close multiplied by we are calculating for one day and then again we have to convert that into seconds so we would be multiplying by 60 multiplied by 60 so now you can see that this is the total available time we have in box for for one day now simply we have to do it for weekly and monthly basis after having the calculation of ox we need to find out that what is the actual net available time after ox how we can do that so that would be the total time available we have that is 32400 minus then your total time in boxes it's a simple uh, subtraction of total time minus time available in box so that would be the net available time we would be having the same goes for weekly and monthly basis after having all the calculations so now we have the occupancy given 80 percent so net available time with 80 percent of occupancy what would be that so your 27,000 multiplied by 80 percent so this would be the net available time with 80% of occupancy, 21,600. And now we can see that for weekly and monthly basis also. After that, I need to find out that calls per agent. How many calls one agent can handle on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. So this is the available time we have with 80% occupancy and the AHT is your 300 seconds. One agent can handle 72 calls in one day 360 calls in a weekly and 1440 calls in a monthly basis one agent can handle these calls on the basis of that we need to find out that what would be the agent requirement to handle the call volume of 2800 14000 and 56000 
So simple calculation would be your 2800 divided by your calls per agent. So I need to have approximately 39 agent to handle that workload, that, to handle that call volume. Now we have the shrinkage also given 15%. So what would be the agent requirement after applying the shrinkage? How we can calculate it? So the simple formula would be your agent required plus bracket open, agent required multiplied by your 15%. So I need to have approximately 45 agents to handle that call volume on a daily, weekly and monthly basis with the, with all of these components, with occupancy, login hours, after removing boxes and all these things. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and share. Thank you so much again for watching the video.